so people who watch our show have seen you. So what's your name? My name is Audrey Freshman. And um, so people can have a little bit of background. Tell us about your vacation here when you first came. Okay, so um, I came on vacation in February with my mom and my stepdad. Uh, they invited me on their annual trip here. We stayed at the Monokai in Kie, which is a super bougie hotel resort. Um, and the condo was like, had this dope ass view of the ocean. Um, and as soon as I like got my first look at it, I just was blown away by um, by the beauty of Maui and like the brightness of the colors and um, just how relaxing I felt or how relaxing it is here and how relaxed I felt. And how long were you here for that trip? Um, so I was here, I think it was 14 days. It was supposed to be and then I extended my trip by a couple days because I just didn't want to go home. Yeah. Did you meet any cool people? Did you? <laughs> Yeah, everyone that I met, um, everyone that I met in Maui was super nice. Um, Including? Yeah, so I met a guy um, that actually you guys hooked me up with. It's funny, um, you know, I had joked with you and Alex right before I came being like, have you found me a Maui boy yet, right? <laughs> Just kidding. And you got, you know, Alice was like, yeah, actually, I have. Like, this guy, I met this guy that I think you're gonna like, and his name's Derek. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, camera, I'm Derek, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I met Derek, I was like, he's just so lovely. He's a cool guy, he's gorgeous. So, so then what happened when you went back home? Like, what were you feeling? What were the thoughts going through your head? I mean, I just didn't want to go back home. It was just like, and during my trip, that was a reoccurring thought where it was just like, I just don't want to go back home. I just want to stay here in Maui. You know, I had met Derek and I knew that I wanted to have a relationship with him. Um, and I just kept feeling like I was called to, to be in Maui and have my next chapter of my life be here. But then I was also like, that's crazy, right? Like, that's what other people do is they move to paradise. Like, I can't do that. Um, and so I went home and like, even like, you know, getting into SeaTac Airport, it was like 30 degrees, you know, and I was standing outside waiting for my roommate to pick me up. And I was just like, fuck this. I was just ready to get out of here and like walking my dog around Tacoma, it was so cold. And I was just like, you know what? Um, I would check the weather in Maui every day and like going back to work and talking to my coworkers about it. And it was just like, everyone that I talked to about it gave me the same message. Like, what do you have to lose? You know, like, why not? That was the message that I kept getting is like, you know, everything that you're afraid of missing out on is still gonna be here for you, right? So it's like, I felt like I had this path laid out for me in Tacoma that was like very responsible and if I stay at my job for like another two years, I'm on the track to get licensed as a mental health counselor and like, you know, everything was easy and routine. Like I've got my, you know, cheap living situation. I've got my yoga studio, I've got my coffee shop. Everything is familiar. I've got my family and my little community and it's all set, right? It's safe, right? Or I could give up all of that certainty and move to Maui and have it all be unknown. You know, nothing certain, nothing for sure. And that was really scary. But the message that I kept getting was do it now, don't wait. You know, um, and I knew, and like follow your heart, as corny as that is. And I love that shit, right? So it was like, I just felt like I was getting this opportunity to really like live my beliefs. So obviously you're here, mm, surprise. <laughs> um, so what moves did you make? Like, what did you have to do to actually make that a reality once you made the decision? So or I was, did you make the decision? So I was pretty obsessed. Like literally, I think it was maybe the next day after I got home, 
I had applied to like five or six jobs in Maui. Um, and I, you know, a couple days in, um, I just like could barely sleep. Like I stopped sleeping, you know, I, I didn't wake up to an alarm. It was just like at like five in the morning, I was just like, bing, like time to get up and like hey, take care of shit, right? So I had told my roommate that I wanted to move and asked her if she could find a replacement for our house, which she did immediately. And I didn't even have to pay another month's rent. Like I, you know, and just like trying to get rid of my stuff and, um, and like, you know, I had actually applied for this other job at my work and got a promotion and more money and I was gonna get an office and it was gonna be a better caseload. Um, and yeah, the same day that they offered me this promotion, I told them, um, actually, no, because I'm gonna move to Maui, so I'm not gonna take this better job. I'm gonna put in two weeks notice. Um, so yeah, and my job told me that they'd be happy to have me back. So another fear that I had was like taken care of, right? I mean, the universe wanted me to come here. Mm -hmm. Everything was easy. I mean, it, it took effort, but it was also like, I almost felt like somebody else was doing it. It was just like, this needs to happen. So what needs to happen? So it's like, I think I actually made the decision maybe two weeks after getting home. But if I was being honest, like there was no way, I, I came to the realization that there was no way that I could have not gone and not regretted it. Like I was like, there's no way that I can just stay here in Tacoma and like I'll always wonder, you know, what would have happened if I would have tried it out. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, you know, it's not that big of a deal moving, right? It's a pain in the ass, but it's just like, you get rid of all your shit, just let your shit go. You know, um, my mom stored some stuff for me, which is cool. Just a couple furniture items and books, which I really have a hard time letting go of. I shipped, as you guys know, I one of the few things that I shipped in my, I shipped a 50 pound box of books here and I want to bring more. And um, I shipped my Vitamix, right? And a couple yeah. kitchen items, because so I love to cook and that's important. Yes. But it's just letting go of stuff, you know, all you need to do is Get rid of your job, get rid of your house, mm -hmm. let shit go. But you did have some like security blankets, like you had places to stay here, you already knew some people from your trip. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's the other thing is that you guys, right? So I was talking to you guys, um, as you know, and you were like, hey, right? Alex is like, hey, you can come stay with us for two months, right? We've got a place, we're doing this work trade thing in Kihei, like come stay with us for free. Um, and if you, you know, don't get a job or don't whatever, then you can just have an extended vacation and come back. So you sold a bunch of your stuff. Did you, what did you bring with you? Did you ship a bunch of stuff? I know you shipped some books. What about a car? Like, oh yeah, do you so, so yeah. So I also shipped my, uh, Prius, which was like a grand, um, and um, other than that, yeah, like I said, the books and uh, the kitchen box and just a couple clothing items. I just let so much shit go. So you said the minute you got back home, you applied to a bunch of jobs on Maui. Yeah. So how how did that work out? So uh, I get on, I got in on April second, which was a Tuesday night at like ten p.m. To Maui. To Maui. Okay. Yep. Flew over to Maui. Um, so I had an interview set up for Thursday um, and uh, for a therapist position, and so I already had that set up, and so I went on Thursday, and um, by Friday they had offered me that job, and then on Friday I had a different interview and they offered me that job that same day. So within, you know, really two, three days of being in Maui, I had two awesome job offers in my field as a therapist, um, making more money than I was making back home and, you know, a better, way better situation than I had back home, like within days, yeah. you know? So, um, and I have this awesome place to stay with some of my best friends um, and like, really have been feeling like 
since I've been here, like it's just like a dream. Like it hasn't even felt real because everything has worked out so easily. Um, and so then I was, you know, trying to decide between the two jobs and, um, and yeah, so I chose one. Um, and at first I was like, oh, this is completely whack because it's, you know, so different. And then I came to realize that actually it's my dream job and it's ideal and I've got my own office. Like it's just, I've got plumerias outside of the building. There's a mango tree, there's an avocado tree. Like it's just gorgeous. So how does it feel living here now? Pros and cons? Um, how, how is it like different living here as opposed to being a tourist maybe? Anything? you would tell someone who was thinking about moving? Yeah, um, it's really hot, <laughs> especially in, it especially, yeah, uh, it's really warm. Uh, we're having a heat wave and it's about to be the summertime. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Um, I'm actually moving up country to Pukulani. Tell us just about that process maybe. Sure, so another thing like that has been easy about living here is um, I went to go look at, you know, I was looking online and found this studio of country in Pukulani, which is like a couple minutes from Derek, the man I'm in love with, and a couple minutes from work. So it's super convenient. Um, and the studio itself is like, it's got lofted ceilings and skylights and wood floors and it's just really bright and airy and beautiful and it has like two big glass slider doors and I mean the process was really pretty chill like I showed up there and actually so this is the other side of Maui is like because it's so chill sometimes people are maybe not as like organized or put together as you might expect. So like when I first to go, went to go look at the studio the dude didn't have the keys to get in. So we just like peered in from the outside, but I was like, no, I still want it because um, it's a good a price. A shortage a little bit too. Yeah, but um, but it was pretty easy, honestly. Like I filled out the application and he was like, you're the best candidate, you have good credit. And I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, so to go back to your question um, of the difference, my feeling is that people on Maui are, like I feel like a lot of people that move here, move here for similar reasons of like, they want a slower pace of life. They want to um, really focus on like enjoying themselves, you know, and being in the beauty of nature and like going to the beach and just like chilling the fuck out. Everybody's relaxed. I feel like nobody's in a hurry um, and people will just like chat you know, um, and that's something that I really appreciate. If you want to move to Maui, I would definitely suggest it. It's, everybody talks about how expensive it is, and I think that that is true, but um, there are also ways to like, save money if you like shop at Costco or, you know, cook at home a lot, which I like to do. Farmer's markets, the cool farmer's market of country is fucking beautiful. It's like your views of the ocean. Any last advice that you would give to someone who's wanting or thinking about moving here? Um, I mean, <laughs> so I had a phone conversation with uh, some of Derek's friends, Kim and Dave, before I moved here, and they were like, we think that you need to have like 10 to 20 grand saved up before you move here. And I was like, well, that's not gonna happen, right? <laughs> That's not in reality. So, I mean, you know, obviously if you can have a little bit of money saved, um, it made it easier. I mean, it made it possible for me to live here, move here, because I could stay with you guys. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to pay rent for two months. Um, so that helped me with like some of the moving costs. Um, but I mean, I pretty much fucking started working right away. So, you know, definitely the more that you can apply for jobs before you get here, or, you know, obviously if you have some skills or stuff like that that make it easier. Um, but I mean, my advice to people is just that, you know, it's like life is short, right? We talk about death a lot. Um, just in terms of like, 
understanding that life is finite and that, you know, we assume in our culture that we can always like do it later, right? Like work really hard, make your fortune, and then later on you can enjoy your life. But it's like, sometimes we know that doesn't happen, right? Like shit happens, accidents happen, your life gets cut short or whatever, right? And it's like this idea of putting stuff off has always bothered me, right? And so I think that, you know, live a life of your dreams and do things that you're afraid of and do things that just sound cool, right? It's like, I like to think about my life like it's a book and it's like, okay, what sounds interesting for the next chapter? You know what I mean? And um, like life doesn't have to be drudgery. Right? Because it's like, yes, I'm still like going to work and, you know, going to yoga and working out and grocery shopping. And there are like daily things that you're going to do anywhere that you live. But it just feels more fun here. Like it just feels, I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, it doesn't even feel very hard. But I mean, the sad part is like I left everybody, right? Like you're going to leave and I'm going to be really sad and um, I'm gonna have to make new friends mm -hmm. and build a new community because that was something that I really had in Tacoma and there are so many people that I treasure and love and I just have to tell myself that I'm not gonna lose those people, that our relationship is just gonna change and we just you know, all need to make enough money where we can travel back and forth to see each other and, the time will be more intentional, you know, like maybe we can meet up in fucking Bali or we can like have annual trips in different places around the world and we're not gonna lose our connection. Yeah, but that's the hard part is leaving the people, leaving my loved ones. Yeah, so. Well, thank you for sharing your experience and your advice with us um yeah and good job following your dreams we love you and glad you know that's a good snap <laughs>